Hey guys, welcome to Code Box. Thanks for joining in, and in this tutorial, we will walk through three ways to handle large file uploads in PHP. If you want to follow along, the code download is on the Code Box website. Link in the description box below. Method 1. PHP Settings. This is the simplest method. Open the php.ini file, and change the max upload and post size. You might also want to change the max input and execution time. Then create a simple HTML upload form as usual. Lastly, a PHP upload handler to move the uploaded file to where it is required. Method 2. Chunking. Basically, splitting the file into smaller upload chunks. In the HTML, create an upload file button and place it into a container. Also, create an upload file list. Next, we will be using a library called PL Upload. Simply load the script from a CDN, or download from the official website. On window load, we will create a new PL upload object. There are a lot of settings, but essentially, set the runtime to HTML5 and HTML4. Define the browse button, server side script, and chunk size. To build the interface, we will be working with the events. On post init, we empty the file list. When files are added, we will create new entries in the file list, and immediately start the upload. Then, upon upload progress, we simply update the percentage. Finally, handle any upload errors. On the server side, things are a little long-winded, but straightforward. First, we will create a function to formulate a standard server response.
Then, deal with invalid uploads. Next, set the upload file path, and create the uploads folder if it does not exist. Following up, save the upload chunk. Basically, store the chunks as a dot part file on the server first. Lastly, when all the chunks are uploaded, we simply rename the dot part file back to the original name. Method 3. Resumable Upload In the HTML, we will create two buttons. One to select files, and another to pause and resume the upload. Also, create an upload file list. Then, we will be using a library called Flow.js. Simply load it from a CDN, or download from GitHub. On window load, we create a new flow object. Again, there are a lot of settings. Essentially, set the server side script and chunk size. We will also set single file upload to simplify things here. Next, we build the interface. Attach the browse button. On file added, we create new entries in the file list.
When the file is added to the upload queue, we immediately start the upload. Then on upload progress, we calculate and update the percentage. On upload success, update the interface again. Optionally, handle any errors. Lastly, we set the upload pause and resume button. On the server side, we will be using another open source package. Download it from the GitHub page, or use Composer to pull it. Finally, use the library, just copy from the demo snippet for a quick start. With that, we have come to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you want to learn more. See you in the next one.